So today we're going to be going over how to get rid of red spider mites. I'm dealing with red clover mites right now and the way you can find out if you are actually dealing with spider mites, look at the underside of your leaves as I'm doing here and you can kind of see these little white specks. Those are eggs of spider mites. Um, that's kind of a telltale sign that they're there if you cannot actually see them because they are pretty small. Um, red clover mites, the one I'm dealing with, they're actually pretty large, so I could see them. And after seeing that I did have eggs on my little um, bonsai ficus right here, I started to look around for them because they weren't really on the plant. And it turns out, as you'll see in just a second, they were all over my windowsill and they had kind of infiltrated my plant. So I'm going to go over how to get rid of these red clover mites. Lastly, just another tip if you're unsure if you're dealing with spider mites, there will be webbing around your plant. My webbing looks kind of old and dusty. I think it might be from last season when they were a problem because red clover mites kind of come in waves. And so I noticed this when I put a black background behind my plant, it's much easier to see that way and you can do the same with your house plant. Just so you know, there are many ways to deal with spider mites. I'm just gonna show you one. You can use essential oils such as this one. You can use spearmint, rosemary, cinnamon, eucalyptus, or lemon. Those all work great against them. But in my video today, I'm gonna be using some neem oil and some alcohol. So these little red clover mites are a common landscape pest. They come from the outside in through small cracks in your home. That is why they're commonly around your windowsill area. And so they just happened to find a home on my plant that was right near it, and that's why I'm having struggles with them. You can also tell if they're a red clover mite by squishing them, it'll leave a nice reddish brown stain. If you're dealing with some other sort of spider mite that's very small, I have another video showing how to deal with those, and I'll link it down below. So let's get right into this. I decided to use alcohol. I grabbed some, you know, just toilet paper, and I put the alcohol generously on the toilet paper and just wiped away. I got a lot of little spider mites, as you can see by those red specks and a lot of dirt because my windowsill is dirty. I will tell you it was not as dirty after, you know, killing all these little guys, but the alcohol will literally suck all the moisture out of the spider mites bodies and kill them right away. And you can see how effective it was. Look at all those red spots. After wiping them for a while and still seeing dozens of them, I decided to put the alcohol into a spray bottle and just start spraying them down, killing them, letting them sit, and then wiping them up afterwards. And it was pretty effective. You can kind of see as I go throughout here, the spider mites start to be less and less. And if you are struggling with these red clover mites in your house, one sure way to get rid of them is to obviously, you know, hire a pest control professional to spray outside your home. But you can also prevent them by removing the grass around the foundation from your home and putting something like wood chips or sand or lava rock or something besides the plant material because that is kind of the home of these little spider mites. They love to live in over fertilized grass right by your house or in plants. Um, I'm renting, I can't do that, so this was my next best option was to just start spraying them myself with some alcohol. And once I had kind of gotten my windowsill and all the spider mites there under control, I sprayed some rubbing alcohol onto my tissue paper and just started to wipe the underside of the leaves of my ficus where I could see eggs. I ended up going back and doing this again and again, but you can kind of see right here the little eggs along, you know, that main vein of the leaf. They're just sitting there and that is what I was trying to rub off. They can be you know kind of hard to get but if you are you know aggressive but gentle to rub them off they will come off and the alcohol will kill them and like i said earlier i had to be very thorough i did this a few times just with the rubbing alcohol trying to get them off of my leaves just making sure that they weren't going to come back and i moved this plant away from my windowsill to stop this problem from happening to this plant and whenever I put alcohol onto my plant's leaves and let it sit for a few hours, I was sure to spray it down with some lukewarm water to kind of wash that off and wash off any remaining spider mites or eggs, just so that, you know, the alcohol wouldn't harm my plant's leaves.
And lastly, I would put neem oil generously on my ficus to make sure that these bugs stayed away. And like I said earlier, I moved it to a new place. I will be treating my windowsill often with rubbing alcohol just to keep them gone. Um, but this has worked great for me. My plant is doing amazing now and I hope that this helps you deal with your red spider mites as well.